not double D. That sounded wrong. Hey guys, this is Jackie Ernerdi Crafta, and for today I want to show you how to make your very own miniature kidnip box. Let's check and see what's in there. If you're not familiar with Kitnip Box is, it is a monthly subscription box for your kitties. And that's kitties with double T, not double D. Well, that sounded wrong. If you want more information on Kitnip Box, I will leave it in the description box below. I am not affiliated, so this is purely for your own pleasure. More like your kitty's own pleasure. I swear they probably bathe the boxes in catnip because when I received the box, my cats went crazy for it. They started like rubbing all over it and smelling it and turning and then they started battling on who would be the sole victor of this box. The one I received is for multiple cats, so that way they could actually share the toys. I really appreciated the fact that the toys and everything in there is actually very friendly to the cats without any preservatives. If you want to see the full video of my cats going crazy for that box, I will upload the video over the weekend on my vlog channel, Nerdy Jackie. If you're in the mood of more cat-themed things, make sure you check out Pudding Fish Cakes, Pusheen themed phone case. I imagine Pusheen being the cat all cats want to be. If you like this channel, please support me with subscribes and likes. And if you want other people to check this out, make sure you share. All the dweebs are doing it. The full list of everything you're going to need is going to be in the description box below, as well as the links for the printout. And as always, I use Sculpey Clay for all my projects. All right. So, the first thing we're going to do is cut the box out in the shape and of course go into the little nooks and crannies and you're going to fold where the black lines are. I'm going to ask you guys to be a little patient with me with all my weird accents because I am doing a completely different kind of voiceover. I'm having a little bit of fun here so we're all gonna wing it and you're gonna see how bad I do. <laughs> So we're going to glue all the ends and you're going to put the lips on the outside. We all know cats are magical creatures, so they do deserve unicorn flavored snacks. I would imagine unicorn tasting pretty much like chicken. <laughs> now you're going to take some tape and you're going to put the sticky side up, place the snack package right on top, and you're going to cut that out. I made three different kinds. You can have the magical galaxy goodness or different colors. I absolutely love how shiny it looks with the tape on top. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to bend the paper in half, and then we want to bend further from the half on both ends, so that when we bend it, we're making a kind of V, well, or M, depending on which way you look at it, and then we're going to glue the sides.
squeeze some fabric paint. I don't know, I just look at this and it looks so edible. And take a little pom-pom. And I got these at the dollar store. I'm just holding them with tweezers so that we don't mess up our fingers. But of course, I always end up messing myself. I don't know how I get paint on myself, but I always do. And sometimes on my face, I don't even know why. It's not like I eat the paint. Put on whatever colors you want, let them dry, and they should look like this. And the fun thing about fabric paint is that it still keeps them squishy. To make the small packaging, I am using a self-seal bag. These are pretty hefty. Just shove the little balls in there and you're gonna cut the right size. So the reason we're putting the ball first is so that it takes the shape, so that we're kind of cutting more than we need. It's, it's science, trust me on that. <laughs> Take some packing tape, cut really thin strips, and you're going to close every open side. Because they're kind of the same looking material, it shouldn't show that much. I wanted to make the label out of a cardboard type looking paper. So of course you can make them in any way you want, but I wanted this look because it kind of has a recycled slash environmentally friendly slash cat friendly hipster hippie type look. Of course you can seal them with glue, but I really like the look of staplers. Oh my god. If these aren't the cutest little packages ever, I really don't know what is. I'm adding two more colors of delicious looking but non-edible paint and I'm cutting a dowel and I'm going to paint that in black and I'm going to use it for the fluffy stick for the cats. You know, the one that they like chasing that kind of looks like a tail, but it could also be a feather. And we're just going to paint whatever colors or pattern that we wanted. I wanted it to have kind of a unicorn tail to match the snacks, but of course you can do it in any colors that you want. Once it's all dried up, go ahead and put a stick and look at it. Here, kitty kitty, where are you? <laughs> it's so fun to play with, it really is. I wish I was a cat. To make the mouse, you're going to make a teardrop with your polymer clay, and then we're going to roll a flat piece, well, not a flat piece, a round piece, and we're gonna wrap it all the way around our little mouse. Once it looks like a mummy, now you can go ahead and add any details that you want. I'm not quite sure if I would be the kind of cat to just kind of look at a mouse or to chase it, so yeah. <laughs> Once you have the details on, you can actually go ahead and make a little hole in the back, and that's going to give us some space to put the feathers. Hey mouse, what's that little speck of paint? I don't know, I'm out of here. <laughs> You're going to bake your little creation for 20 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Once baked, you're going to take any colored feathers that you want, cut off the tip, and you're going to put them for the part of the tail in the back of the mouse. Now, I have big fingers, so watch me struggle as I try to pick Dangnabbit. <laughs> come here, come here. Ta-da! So colorful! I really love this toy, it looks really fun. So, I am using green moss for catnip, and although it does look like other things among catnip, we are using it for catnip. And I made another bag for this one, the same way that we did the other one, and I'm sealing it and I'm putting another kind of label right on top. And that, my sweet dweebs, is an easy way to make fake catnip. For the cute little squishy toy, I just took a piece of fabric and another one of the fluffy fabric. I sewed the edges, turned it inside out, stuffed it with actual paper that goes quish, quish. I don't know why I make that quish, quish sound, but yeah, that's the quish, quish sound <laughs> from now on. Stuffed it in there, and then I sewed it all back inside. If you're anything like me and you lack talent in the sewing department, you can go ahead and use a glue gun instead of sewing it. 
our little kidnip box is complete. So let's pack it up so that some happy cats can actually enjoy it. Remember, if you want to see a full video of my cats going crazy for it, check my vlog channel. All done! If you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. And let me know what kind of cat do you have. Until then, I will see you guys next week. Bye.